Hi everyone, welcome to episode 17 of Show Me How It's Done. I'm so excited to show you today how to make this stunning accordion fold card. So this is a card that is gorgeous. As soon as your recipient looks at it, they'll love it. And then it has a super fun little belly band that you can slip off and it has an accordion pattern of papers with a little note that you can also write on the card. Now I decided instead of just making a card front with a tiny little spot to write on, I wanted to have a full card for you to put a uh, message in as well. So it's your choice. You could either make a postcard style or you can do the full card and put the piece of paper on the inside to write on as well. So what I love about this card is it looks gorgeous showcasing some of our designer series paper, but you could also make this as a birthday card using photographs, maybe some family pictures or even just birthday pictures in general for you to display and um, really give a shout out to somebody's special occasion. So I want to show you how to make this card today. The first thing that you're going to need is a card base and I chose the Misty Moonlight color. So I've cut this cardstock at four and one quarter by 11. And then I put a score mark down the middle at five and a half inches. This is gonna be my card base that I'm opening and closing. For the card front, I wanted a piece of pattern paper. So I chose just a basic white that I cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I embossed it with our ornate floral 3D embossing folder. For the inside of the card, I need a paper the same size, so cut them the same time, four by five and a quarter, and we're just leaving this one white. So you can go ahead and attach those two with whatever sort of flat adhesive you want. Um, don't do a dimensional yet, because we have lots of depth with our accordion fold, and we want the card to be able to fold together still. So this is a great card to use up all sorts of scraps of your paper and I think I've pretty much between my classes that I use this card for and my own sets I've used every single nip of paper in the package that I could so much so that I ran out of an extra strip that's just half an inch wide and four inches long for me to decorate the sample that I'm doing for you. So if you want to decorate the bottom, just cut yourself a little sampler of the paper, half an inch by four inches, and that will look adorable. So your card base is done for the moment. You can put this aside. We're going to need to actually cut another piece of Misty Moonlight, the same um, dimensions as we cut the base. So four and a quarter by 11, and then put a score mark down the middle at five and a half, just like we did on the other card. You are also going to add score marks at one and a half, three, and eight. So one and a half, three, five and a half, and eight. Now to get the really beautiful accordion look, we're gonna do a back and forth folding. So on your left hand side of the paper is where you're gonna want these two smaller rectangles. Your right hand should be the larger ones. So your first one here, we're going to bend backwards and just make sure you have a bone folder handy because you want a nice crisp line, okay? So my first one I have folded back. That means the next one I'm folding forward. These two pieces are the same size, so they'll nestle right away together. So the next fold, we're actually gonna go backwards once again and forward, okay? So we have just, looking at our card, we've got it all flat. 
we've gone back fold, front fold, back fold, front fold. And these are not proportional and that's okay. We want them kind of just looking really fun and uh, sometimes uneven layers are the funnest to work with. So to start decorating, I just grabbed a bunch of papers from that hydrangea suite and I chose four and five, I guess, that I fell in love with. So my first two are going to be the same size and they're gonna go on these two first panels. They're going to measure one and a quarter by four inches. The next two pattern papers are the same measurements as each other. They are going to be two and a quarter by four inches. Whichever one you decide goes in this slot is going to be the one that you see in the front. Okay? The other one is hidden in the back of the note. Okay? So whichever one you want visible, you'll put first. Then we're going to cut a piece of basic white that is the same size as these two pieces here. So that was two and one quarter by four inches. And you'll notice this space is larger than that. We're going to add a little designer paper to decorate it. So make sure this is closer to the left hand side of your little space. So your um, pattern paper is gonna go on the right here. This little strip is actually the same size as the one I suggested for the inside of your card. It would be half an inch wide by four inches long and it's just going on the right here. So that when you fold this up you do see that strip of pattern paper there as well. So we have this all folded. It's great. If you've made a mistake and you've maybe done it backwards that's okay. Your card's just gonna pop out to the right as opposed to mine, that when I attach it to the card, it's gonna pop out to the left. So it's all folded. You can see this back space here. This is what we're gonna put adhesive on and attach to the front of our card. All ready to go just bring your card front in and put it right in the middle all right now we need something to hold the card together that's going to be this adorable little belly band so let me show you how to make that I'm going to grab a piece of misty moonlight cardstock and this one is going to measure one and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches long and you'll need two score marks one of them is going at three inches the other is going at seven and three eighths so that when you fold this across you should only have a little piece that overlaps that's where you're going to put your adhesive so I like to put adhesive on the end of this piece that's on the base and then actually on the tip of the one that's folding over too just so that we make sure that both sides are nice and flat and ready to go okay so I have actually cut out my flowers already I have them ready to assemble they came from the forever and always stamp set so this has just gorgeous detailed stamps and a die set that goes with it as well However, I wanted to show you how I got the coloring on the flowers. So what I did was I took my flowers and I stamped them 
in Misty Moonlight ink. And then I took a different color. So in this case, I used Purple Posy and Rococo Rose. We can also use Highland Heather. And I'm actually going to use a blending brush to add the color to the middle. To just rub in circles. Get some ink on there. And then start in the center of your flower. And you can see I've added a tiny bit of color. If you would like to add more, start in the center again and add a bit more. Okay, so it just really brings your flower to life without you having to color all the fine details. And then of course I'd use my coordinating dies to cut those out. So I have a little cough from a cold that I'm trying to shake. Okay, let's decorate this. So I have two fun little leaves that I've cut out of old olive cardstock, and I'm going to actually use a glue dot to attach those. So just on the end, I'm going to lift that glue dot on and just tuck this nicely behind my flower, maybe at a little angle. Like so. And then I also want the second one. And that's going to go more near the bottom here. Like this. And I'm going to use dimensionals to pop this flower up. So I actually like to put my flowers on the side of the belly band that has that ugly line. Remember where we folded it? So that this nice backing is what people see on your card. So super cute. Now I wanted a little sentiment. So I went to my dual oval punch and I cut out two pieces, one on basic white and one on soft sea foam, or seaside spray, pardon me. And then I stamped with the coordinating um, oval layers stamp set just in Misty Moonlight ink. So this I'm going to attach just with some tape. And on the back is where I'm going to put my dimensionals. I just tuck that up near the top. Now I have one more flower to attach. The easiest way to do that is just put my dimensionals straight on the belly band. And we're going to tuck this flower in here. All right, now I wanted to add one more detail. So I grabbed our clear opal rounds, which are just gorgeous. They go with so many things. So I used one large one and two small ones. To decorate like this okay so you have two ways that you can attach your belly band to the card so the one is kind of the standard way where we're gonna put the belly band over the entire card and close everything up together so that when whoever receives this opens the envelope they'll know just to take off the whole belly band However, I thought it would be fun to be able to be, have this as a display card. So if you just lift up the front of your card and put your belly band on from the bottom, you can actually hold all these layers in place and have that really gorgeous card front look while being able to stand it up on a desk or a shelf. Okay, so this is a really great way to just send the card People will open it up, all the layers will fall apart, and you'll be super happy. 
this is a really fun way to display the card if you just want to have it standing so people can see it like so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the cards today. It's a really, really fun and easy project to make once you actually sit down and cut out all the pieces. So I hope to see you um, using some of your papers up and um, using some of the stamps and dies you have at home as well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I hope you really enjoyed the project today. Bye!